What's happening guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. I got some more parts painted for my engine bay. I'm gonna show you what they look like and install them into the car. So last time we did an engine bay video, I showed you guys that I had the engine cover, hydro dip in the carbon fiber, and then gloss painted all black around. But if you look closely, there are three caps in the engine bay that are just flat black. They're just plastic, black plastic. And I had the idea to maybe make those gloss black. I think it would just dress up the engine a little bit cleaner and kind of consistently tie things in with what I'm going for, which is mostly just black. I just want gloss black in the engine bay. We also have something coming to replace the MST intake. Comment down below if you think you know what it is. But we're gonna go ahead and replace these three caps. I actually bought brand new ones and had them painted. I'll put all of the links and part numbers down below in case you guys wanna do this. And in addition to the caps, we also have the strut bar, which used to be white and it is now gloss black. Came out really, really clean. I even had them gloss black over the actual silver badge. I just think it looks more stealth, a little bit cleaner. And then these are those three caps that I was talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and throw those in here and kind of see the difference. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so first we're gonna throw in the strut bar and the way that we're gonna do that are four 13 millimeter bolts. There's two up top there. Two up top here, one is kind of hiding under the little plastic rubber piece over here. The actual torque specs are something like 27 pounds, 23 pounds, it's right in there, it's 20 something pounds. I actually don't have the correct drive for my torque wrench in order to use that, but I kind of have an idea of what 20 some pounds feels like. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these up, put the strut bar back on the car, and then we'll throw on the caps. Should be sitting pretty. I'm gonna give you guys the actual torque specs because I feel like if I don't, I'm gonna get crucified in the comments. <laughs> Welcome to YouTube. So 20.7, uh, 20.7 20 foot pounds of torque for these bad boys on your strut bar. Um, I'm not actually gonna use my torque wrench, I'm just gonna do it by feel. Rather than just tighten down one side and then the other side, I'll do the two outer bolts and then I do the two inner bolts. So I'll start on this side. I have the black. Black looks money. So now when I'm looking at the engine bay with the gloss black strut bar, and the beautiful gloss black carbon fiber engine cover. The only thing that sticks out is this intake. And the intake is just like a flat black. It just doesn't quite mesh well with everything else in the engine bay. So I have something coming in replacement of that. But let's go ahead and throw these caps on. So this guy's for the oil, oil cap. And when they painted it, I had them tape off everything underneath the bottom of the cap. So all the seals and every, all of these caps have different like seal mechanisms in them. And um, I didn't want to get paint on those. So for obvious reasons. So I just had them tape off the bottom and just do all of the tops in gloss black. And I think it, I think they look really good. There's our old one and there's our new one. Now, if you guys actually had time to like wait around for them to paint them for you, Cool, you could do that too. I just went ahead and spent, I think I spent like $60. And I just got all new caps. Um, it's just easier for me to go ahead and buy the new ones, have them painted. And then down the road, if I ever want to, I can just sell off the gloss black ones and I still have my OEM ones. So this one, we're gonna have to have the shot put on because you actually need a tool to put it on. Um, it's like torqued on there. So I'm gonna have the shop do this one. But, dude, it looks really good. Bam, dude, all black now. I love it. So this is the guy that we need the tool for in order to get that off. Um, oil, our oil cap over there. And then we got this reservoir over here. Nice and gloss black. Ooh, it's gonna look so good. Just gonna get that last one on, it's gonna look amazing. So yeah, as you guys can see, the really the, the only sore thumb is like this guy. 
it's just uh just doesn't really mesh well i mean i could i could just have it painted if i wanted to but i think i have something even better coming that you guys are going to dig so yeah you guys that's the uh that's the progress update on the engine bay i love the way that it's coming along i just think it's really cool to have these details you know with like gloss black little caps and strut bar just makes a um makes a big difference in the end but it is coming along it's looking good all right guys so today is just a quick little engine bay update video i still haven't gotten the actual damage price list from the shop that i'm working with i'm still waiting on the actual prices of everything that we need to actually replace. If I do get that list before I'm done editing this video, I'm gonna throw it in the end of this video, but if you don't see it, then obviously. But as you guys know, this is just a quick little engine bay update video. I'm constantly working at making this thing look better and better for shows and just in general, just cleaner in general. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification just like that. This video is over and I'm out. Peace. Oh, you thought the video was over, but it's not. So I just got all of the information in on what was damaged on the car. And the total is about, is about what I thought it would be. So I'm gonna go ahead and list off everything that is on this work order bill piece by piece, and then I will give you the total. The total amount that the shop will um, have to pay me in order to fix this car. So we have three mounts up front that go with the bumper. Uh, we have the flap, which would be the under tray flap on the right side. We have the right fog light. We have the right side mount for the fog light. We have the grill, the bumper, the grill, the bumper, which is two on each side. Uh, the trim cover, the support left side, support right side. There's an adapter right underneath the hood that was broken. And then obviously the various carbon fiber front lip. And then, as well as remove and paint the bumper, then reinstall the total for everything with the shop's labor to get the job done out the door is $3,066.82 with tax. So that right there is the total for everything that does not include wrapping the front bumper. I am not charging them for rewrapping the front bumper. Um, we are gonna handle that on our own and my rental cost for the few days that I didn't have a car was $182, so I added that in as well. However, I'll likely need a rental again while the car is in the shop and actually being repaired, but um, I'm not charging them that because, because it's just not worth it. We're just gonna move on. So with the rental cost and the work order bill, everything said and done, it came out to $3,249.31. <laughs> So that's, uh, that's what they'll have to pay. I just sent the email off to the company and we'll, we'll see what happens. The ball is in their court now. We don't know how they're gonna be handling this. It's all kind of been smoke and mirror until this point. So I'm um, nervous, anxious to hear back from them and we'll see what happens. Obviously, if they pay cash, that's much easier than me having to go through their insurance company. That might be a hassle but um, it is what it is and that was the cost. So some of you guys were kind of downplaying the fact that this was going to be an expensive fix. Um, nothing is ever quite as it seems. Just because the bumper was ripped off doesn't mean that the bumper just goes back on and everything is fine. That bumper was brand new. I just had that bumper painted and I installed it just a few months ago. Um, literally just got it wrapped a month ago. So the bumper was brand new. But after everything that happened, it was damaged. And there's no reason for me to have to take a damaged bumper and put it back on my car when I just paid for a brand new one when they damaged it. So at that point, they are 100% liable for everything. And then the real unfortunate part is that it ripped so many other things out in the back of the bumper. Um, the fog light assembly and all that stuff, obviously the lip, the lip was <laughs> very expensive almost the most expensive part in the entire work order but yeah you guys so that's the that's the breakdown um i just figured i would add this into this video because you guys have kind of been along with me for the ride and uh i felt like it was important to add it in there just so you guys know that will effectively end today's video thank you guys so much for watching love you peace